which order pairs the solution set of the system of equations? Well, two ways to go about this are to um, set this up on a graphing calculator and find the intersection, or you can do it algebraically. I guess I'll do both. So here, when they when these two lines, when this line that's quadratic meets, they're equal. So we have negative, um, fix this. So negative x plus one at some point or two points maybe equals x squared plus five x plus six. So let's find when they're equal. If I add x to both sides and subtract one from both sides, what's going to happen? Well, what happens is I get zero equals x squared plus six x plus 5. And now, um, if I solve this algebraically, right, I can factor this out, so x, right, and then x over here to get x squared. You need factors of 5 that add up to get 6. So I'll pick 5 and 1. Okay, so they're saying that's equals 0, so that means x plus 5 could equal 0, and also x plus 1 could equal 0. So we subtract 5 from both sides here, and x equals negative 5. And we subtract 1 from here, and x equals negative 1. This means, this means that when the, two, when the two formulas meet, x equals negative 5, and x is going to equal um, negative 1. So out of the choices they give us, so far, 3 and 4 we cancel out because it has a positive 5. But we have negative 5, so let's plug that in. We can plug it into either formula because at this point, they're the same. So I'm going to plug it into the line that just excuse me, easier to work with, so y equals negative x, so negative negative 5 plus 1, so y equals 5 plus 1, right, and y equals 6, so that point is negative 5, 6, that's choice 2, but let's look at that on the graphing calculator as well, so go to our y equals, clear this off, and we have negative x plus 1, and then we have x squared plus 5x plus 6. Oops, I'm entering all that into an exponent. Clear that off. Okay, again, x squared, press the right key this time, plus 5x plus 6. Okay, now when we graph these two, we'll see that they cross twice, right? And if you want to find when they cross, just hit second trace, and you want to find the intersect, so hit choice 5. So it's going to ask you to identify what the first and second curve is. Wrote here the line is on a curve, but they're going to treat it as that. Press enter, then press up to toggle over to the second um, curve right there. So now you see it's flashing on the second curve. Enter again, and they want us to get. They want us to guess. So there's one of our intersections, negative one two. But we can do the same thing and find the other one as well. So again, hit second, calc, intersect. This time, you know, we want to get over towards the other intersection to find when they meet. So scroll over to the left here. Maybe about there. Okay, so that's our first curve. Enter. Second curve. And toggle, I mean, sometimes it seems a little finicky, so toggle right and then down or whatever. And then here I'm on the second curve. Okay, great. Guess there it is, negative 5, 6. So the calculator can find the intersections as well by graphing and then hitting second trace.